Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 17 of my code refactoring tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to add functionality to your classes using the visitor pattern. So basically, one of you guys sent me this problem. I got a whole bunch of questions about the visitor pattern because I guess it's something that's brought up in class very often. Basically, this is the problem. A company needs a program that's going to calculate bonuses for each type of employee that it has. It wants to have the capability to calculate quarterly and year-end bonuses. And it also maybe want to give monthly bonuses and so forth and so on. So we want to put together a functionality to allow us to provide bonuses in different ways, maybe a middle of the year bonus. Then each employee is going to receive a bonus based off of completely different criteria. We're supposed to use the visitor pattern in this situation and employee classes can only be added to and nothing inside of them can be changed. So we're not allowed to touch the code, we're just allowed to add to it. The visitor pattern is often confused, but in this tutorial I hope to completely explain it. So basically this is what we're going to do. We're going to have our salesmen, which we have right here, and we're also going to have sales trainees, and we're also going to have bosses. All of them are going to receive different types of bonuses. Then we're going to have this guy, yearly bonus visitor, and it is going to calculate the yearly bonus for each of these different employees. There's also going to be a quarterly bonus calculator or visitor whatever you want to call it and basically what the yearly bonus visitor is going to do is it's going to contain a bunch of overloaded methods all named visit salesman is just going to be one of those there's also going to be a sales trainee and a boss and double is going to return the bonus amount whenever it is called and of course it's going to perform calculations on whatever object type like in this situation salesman is passed over to it sales Salesman, which is up here, of course, is going to implement the visible interface, which means that this calculator is going to be able to visit the salesman, look at its numbers, and calculate its bonus. And the salesman is going to contain a method named accept that's going to receive a visitor, in this situation, the yearly bonus visitor. So it's just like it shows up at the salesman's office and says, hey, let me look at your numbers, and in exchange, I'm going to give you your bonus, or this double amount right here. And then over in Maine, where we're actually going to be creating all these different things all we're going to need to do is create our object that's going to calculate our yearly bonus create our salesperson and provide their numbers and then whenever accept is called which is over here inside of sales it is going to be passed the guy that's going to calculate the yearly bonus and then it is going to calculate it that's it so let's look at it again so it's basically if we want to look at this in pictures this is the salesman and he's basically saying I have my numbers on my computer tell the yearly bonus person to get my bonus here is accept visitor is going to be the person that's going to calculate the yearly bonus and this whenever it is passed into this guy up here, this visitor, see, visitor, visitor, it is going to be passed this, which is a reference to the salesman's computer that contains all the information on how to calculate the bonus. That's really it. This is the whole thing. If you understand that the salesperson is going to receive a class that is going to perform a calculation on its code, and all it needs to do is be passed a reference to that code, which it then will return a final calculation over here, and then accept returns it back to the main function, you understand the visitor pattern. Now, of course, I'm going to get into code here in a second. Basically, it's just accept, receives the person that's going to calculate the bonus, then we pass over the salesman object to the person that's going to calculate the bonus for it. Then it jumps over into the very specific overloaded method that handles salesman's bonuses and calculates those bonuses for that salesman. Jump back to the previous slide and then it's going to return that amount which is right here and then at the end of accept the accept method is going to return that value over to the main function to provide it to the client. That is the visitor pattern. Now let's jump into the code and create it piece by piece. And all the code in this video is available in a link underneath the video, and of course it's free. Okay, so this is what I got, and I cut out the extraneous things that didn't really matter from the problem that was sent to me from one of you guys. So we have a sales trainee, a salesman, and a boss. All of them contain different types of information that we are going to use to calculate the bonus. And that is all we have here is those different types of information, a constructor, and then a whole bunch of getters and setters. Now to allow the guy to visit and look at the sales trainees numbers in this situation, we're going to implement 
visitable just like that and let's jump over and take a look at what visitable is going to do basically this is going to be an interface and it is going to be called visitable just like you see there and what this is going to allow classes to do that implement the visible interface is allow a visitor to pass in an object so that the right calculations are done depending upon the object type being whether they're salespeople, sales trainees, or bosses. Inside of Visitable, we're just going to force it to create a method called accept, which is going to invite in an object to perform those calculations. That's all it's doing. And accept is going to be an each employee object, and those employee objects then pass an object of their specific type to a concrete visitor. Concrete visitor is going to be guys like yearly bonus visitor and quarterly bonus visitor. Two different classes that calculate bonuses in a different way. And like I said before, the concrete visitors are going to contain a method named visit that is overloaded to handle each of these employee types and can then perform different calculations based on whichever employee type is passed in. And there is visitable. It is done. So let's not worry about visit quite yet. We got visible all set up here and sales trainee is going to need some unimplemented methods put in there. And there we go. And there you can see the accept method is inside of there now. And all we're going to do is go a visitor, the person that is going to my calculations for my bonus. I am a salesperson. And that's what this tells us. And that is all we need to do. We need to type in implements visible and then allow the person that's going or the class that's going to be doing the calculations to visit and then know what type of object it's going to be performing calculations on. Well, guess what? Now all we need to do is do the same thing for salesman and there that is and then we're going to do exactly the same thing for boss as well and there that is and then everything else is going to be the same too so let's just copy this because that's not going to matter jump over into salesman paste that in there and it is just inviting the person or the class that is going to do the calculations into the class so that it can access numbers just like I did in that little picture all right so those are all saved and they're all ready to go now what I need to do is go into visitor java and each of the concrete visitor types or the different types of ways to calculate bonuses that's what i mean when i say concrete visitor type are going to implement this visitor interface so i just go interface visitor pretty easy and then i tell it all of the different types of employees that it will need to be able to handle so it's going to need to be able to calculate bonuses for sales trainees. So there we are. Now it can do that. Sort of anyway. It knows that it needs to do that. And then it's also going to have to do the same thing for salesmen. I'm just going to type salesman in here. And it's also going to have to calculate bonuses for the boss. And there you see it can do that. And we're done. That is all we need to do. Well, now we need to go into the yearly bonus visitor and have this guy create those overloaded methods. And it is going to implement visitor just like that. And then add unimplemented methods tells us exactly what we need to do. Pretty easy. There they are. And then we can put pretty much anything we want inside of here. These are going to be calculations that are specific to sales trainees. So let's just say we want to print out something like print line and then put trainees yearly bonus or something like that. Print out on the screen so that we know what we're looking at. And then I need to find my bonus percentage and then multiply it times the year yearly salary and I'm done. So I'm just going to type in something here, yearly bonus percentage and I'm going to say trainee. I'm just going to use a ternary operator here to figure out what to do. So let's say sick days if they are less than 10 and trainee. What else do we have in there? Get failed tests. That looks like a good one. Let's say if they've failed less than two tests, we'll give them a bonus of 10. And if they didn't reach those requirements, we'll give them a bonus of 0.02. So there we go. Now we have that guy. And now what we need to do is calculate the bonus amount, yearly bonus amount and let's say I want to go and get the salary for this trainee and multiply it times yearly bonus percentage and there we go and then I want to return yearly bonus amount and there we are it's done now the trainee works for the yearly bonus and then I'm just going to copy this I'm going to do sort of the same exact thing for salesman and also the boss so this is going to be salesman's yearly bonus so we're going to change this to salesman and let's say we want 
want to calculate uh, total sales amount. And if the total sales amount is greater than 100,000, say, and salesmen get new customers, I think that's it, right? Get new customers, yes. Is, say, greater than 50, then we're going to give them a bonus of 12%. These numbers actually come from the question that was sent to me, so that's where they are from. And then I'm gonna go salesman's, I don't think he has a salary, so we're instead going to go get total sales amount, there we are, and multiply that times yearly bonus percentage and everything else there is perfectly fine, so let's keep it that way. And then, please leave any questions or comments below if you don't understand anything here. And then I'm just gonna say boss, yearly salary and change this to boss and then let's say that the boss in this situation let's see what they have i forget get office expenses there's one of them if they kept their office expenses below fifty thousand and new customers get new customers okay that's good so let's just change this to boss get new customers are greater than a thousand i don't know we're going to give the boss a 15 percent bonus and if not we're just going to give them a four percent bonus and then this is just boss get total sales amount everything else works great i'll save it then let's jump over and calculate all this Okay, so I have this all set up here, and I just put yearly bonus and quarterly bonus, which I'm going to let you do the quarterly bonus. I, I'll leave the code to how to calculate the quarterly bonus underneath the video, and you can go take a look at it if you just need another example. And basically, the reason why we're using this is so we can have completely different calculations performed on completely different objects just by defining a new concrete visitor, like we did with yearly bonus visitor, and like I did in the example code for the quarterly. So we just have to say, okay, yearly bonus visitor, which I just created, and I'm just going to call that yearly bonus calculator, is equal to new yearly bonus visitor. So now I have a way to calculate the bonuses. So now I just have to create my sales trainees that have very specific data, new, and this is going to be sales trainee, and let's say well, 5, 1, and 20,000 is their salary. And I'm going to do sort of the same thing for the salesman and for the boss. So this is just going to be salesman, and then I'm just going to say this person's named Tom Salesman, and this is going to be salesman, and then let's say that he did $150,000 in business and put on 62 new customers and then this is going to be boss and I'm going to call him Ross boss and new this is going to be boss as well just creating the employees with the employee information and then that's going to be passed over and calculated say it's not that hard say he did a million dollars in sales what is that new customers and office expenses okay say he did 1200 new customers and his office expenses were forty thousand dollars Okay, so we have all that all set up. All those guys are there. Well, now if we want to print out this information, it's pretty easy. So system out, and I'm going to go Brad Trainee, accept, and what it's going to accept to calculate its bonuses is this yearly bonus calculator. Pass it in there, and it's done. It will calculate it. Then we're going to do the same exact thing for the other type of employees. So Tom Salesman also uses that same exact thing, same exact method, and the same thing for Ross the Boss. And there we are, and let's execute it. And there you see, trainees yearly bonus, 2,000, salesman's yearly bonus, 18,000, and boss's yearly salary or bonus, $150,000. So there is an example of both how to solve the problem that was sent to me and how to use the visitor design pattern. Please leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.